Hello, saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So, what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com backslash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. Hey, everybody, it's Jester. I decided to have some fun this summer and upload some of my favorite highlight clips from our podcast episodes so far in 2023. You could also watch these video clips over on my Julie Gayhart YouTube channel. I hope you're having fun out there, enjoying your hiking and getting out on the trails. And I also hope you'll enjoy these shorter episodes that are fun and educational over the next few weeks. I also wanted to let you guys know we have finalized the dates for our Woods Hole weekend. We are going to be hosting that weekend this coming September 28th through October the 1st. So if you want to join us, mark your calendars and you can find more information at woodsholehostel.com. I also wanted to remind you guys of our Hiking Radio Network merchandise site. If you want to purchase merchandise from any one of our shows on the Hiking Radio Network, you can go to hrntradingpost.com. There's nothing more fun than to see you guys out wearing our gear on the trail and having fun while you're listening to our shows. I hope you have an amazing summer, and we'll see you here in a few weeks with some brand new episodes. Until then, enjoy these highlight clips, and happy section hiking. When did you decide to do the Florida Trail and you just got off a section? So walk us yeah. through what's been going on. I can't remember the moment I decided to do it, but for years, we live in Cincinnati and so cold and dreary in the yeah. winter in the yeah. Ohio River Valley. And I've threatened my dear husband of many years to run off to Arizona every January. And then I thought, Florida Trail, January. Yeah. So I have got a get out of Ohio free card for this January and the next three Januaries, and I get to escape for a month. And it just, I like to experience really different environments. And so far, I've been in the Alps. I've been in the Appalachians. We have, which you didn't mention, I've hiked in the Himalayas. I've ha hiked in Patagonia. We've climbed Kilimanjaro, mm -hmm. but I haven't hiked through swamps. And that <laughs> needed to be corrected. Well, that doesn't sound so, so good you talk about the Himalayas. <laughs> yeah, but swamps are flat, <laughs> dead flat, or they'd be waterfalls. There's a map of the yep. Florida Trail. It's an 1,100-mile trail that goes from Big Cypress in the Everglades National Preserve. And for the first four days, I hiked in swamps. About 50% of the time, I was walking in water up to my ankle to my thighs. And then you go up and you can choose going around the east or west side of Lake Okeechobee, which is the second largest lake in the U.S. to be contained within one state, its own state. And the other is Lake Michigan. And so I chose to go around the west side because that's where more people go and there's more wet places to get my food packages from home, which we'll get into later. And then you go up to Orlando, and I chose to go around the east side. You can go around the west, but the east side, I don't know, more people do it. And I thought, well, I am hike I hike alone almost 95% of the time by choice. I love it. But I like to see other hikers, too. So I did that. And then this is where I got off, according to plan, after about 350 miles, where my dark line ends. And then the trail continues. And next year, I will go up north. Whoop, go over the other way. <laughs> I'm going to look at it. There we go. To about Tallahassee. And that'll be another 300, 400 miles. And then the following year, I will go to the terminus, which is across the Pensacola Bay from Pensacola at Gulf Shores, Gulf Islands National Seashore at Fort Pickens. 
But then that finishes the Florida Trail. But what I plan on doing, I cannot leave any stone unturned. So on the 4th January of fourth year, I will go back down here and then follow an inland connector and then walk down the Keys to Key West because it exists and I must go there. But the Florida Trail did not disappoint. Oh, my God. Big Cypress. I talk about walking in the water on a hot day. That's really nice. And it's just so different and lush and green. And no, I did not see alligators. No, I saw one snake that was about that long, and he was afraid of me and swam away. The alligators are there anywhere. There's a puddle. There's an alligator probably. <laughs> but but it's beautifully marked. They have done a wonderful job because you could get lost there. The rest of the way, there was a lot of walking on levees. So they're raised up above areas where they've drained the land for farming. And the land is trying to take it back. But you can't drink the water in the canals because of agricultural runoff. That's where you'll see the the alligators sunning themselves. And that's cool. And they're way down low and I'm up high on the levee. It's all good. Listen, so I've heard a lot of amazing things about the Florida oh, Trail, but I think it, oh. it, it just depends on when you go. I mean, January is a perfect time. It is the time. And the there's a or, so of course there's the Florida Trail Association that is in charge of the trail, but there's also an association that really supports the hikers. And they had a camp camping within ten at a campground ten miles from the southern terminus for the people who were gonna start. And they staggered us by days. We chose what day to go, but we were staggered by three or four days because the camping areas in a swamp are very small. It's a raised little island kind of, and maybe four tents can go there. But these trail angels who work with this association put out caches of water, as I've heard some do on the Arizona Trail too. And so even though we're surrounded by water in the canals, we had to get our water from the gallons. They had to have like 20 gallons of water behind a guardrail at such and such intersection. And they were just a lifeline. And there was on the Facebook group, there was a spreadsheet. You could see how much water was left. There was a gentleman that hiked. He did this Carolinian route last year, and he was on the Mountains of Sea Trail. His name is Jason Tompkins. Did you hike with oh, out and about? Out and about. Yeah. I hiked with him for sure. He is now surely off the Florida Trail. I follow his Facebook page, but he doesn't always say exactly where he is. He is completing the Eastern Continental Trail. He makes friends so easily, but the world is his home. He really is just living in the world right now, hiking all over. The Florida Trail, some of the people, the locals say it is a strand of beautiful pearls held together with twine, brown twine, because that brown twine are roadwalks. You can't be in on beaches and Disney World every day when you're in Florida. You can't be in perfect, beautiful wilderness areas every day. Well, listen, and I don't so want to be in those places. I, I don't yeah. want to go to Disney World and the beach. Oh, no, I don't either. Yeah, no. I don't either. But you can't be in these gorgeous green filled areas every day. That's not real life. That's heaven. Along with mountains, though. There have to be mountains <laughs> in heaven. So there's a lot of road walks. And sometimes the roads are busy, but there's always a shoulder. And you just, I wore a lot of orange, orange cap. I had an orange, bright orange rectangular thing to strap on my front to face traffic. I had it on my back the rest of the time. And you just get it done. And I don't tend to listen to music or podcasts or anything when I'm walking, trying to conserve my battery on my phone. But I just get lost in my thoughts. And if I pass the house, I think if that was mine, I'd put on shutters. I, I evaluate everything I pass <laughs> and just, but, but it's fine. It's fine. It's good. And, but I think the road walking contributed to, I had a knee issue that got me off the trail three days earlier than I had planned. But now I'm all good. So yeah. what's next? What's coming up for this year? What was planned for last year in late July and all of August was Colorado Trail. But I had a meniscus tear that had to be re repaired from finishing the AT in 22. It was the second time that knee had seen meniscus repair. And really, if you watch me, you thought you'd think that woman is a very careful hiker. Well, time takes its toll. 
So yes, Colorado Trail, and that I do hope to through hike. It's 480 miles. It starts in Denver, in central, the central part of Colorado, a little to the north, and it goes southwest all through the Rockies the whole time down to Durango near the Four Corners. And I lived two of my very formative years in grade school in a little mining town, and it's one of the trail towns right in the heart of a canyon. So I am so excited. It's like going home. So I many people finish the whole trail in four weeks. I'm taking six and just take my time. I also have to plan around the challenges on this trail is the altitude. So I'm going three days early up to Breckenridge to, you know, up at about 8,000 feet to acclimate and then come back down to the Denver area where you start. And my husband's joining me the first four days, as he did on most of the Appalachian Trail. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is super support. Hello, Saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So, what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com backslash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank N.A. Member FDIC. FDIC. 